So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem till niggas is piling and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J-Rob447 back at against some NCAA Basketball 10. And this game, we're going up against the Siena Saints for the third time this season in the MAC Championship. This game is going to have a lot of excitement. Last game, you guys saw how close that one was. This game, it definitely is going to have a lot of excitement. Basically, Siena knows if they lose this game, they're not getting it. All right, they know they have to win. Now, do we have to win this game? No, we don't. I believe we can lose this game and still get into the tournament. All right, so, but I still be, I still want to go undefeated, all right? We didn't lose yet this season, all right? And we have yet to do that in our whole dynasty era. And considering that this is our last season, you know, why not make a push to go undefeated? I know we don't have the best personnel. I know we don't have that. But we have two very experienced guards who've been through a lot. And then we also have Doug Givens who plays like a like an NBA all-star. We got Devin Kennedy. He's finally showing up. And then now we have Damian Dunn, who's also playing like a man possessed. Jared Griffith, you know, starting to play well. And then v Victor Dobson. He's good also. So definitely, definitely something to look out for when it comes tournament time. But you guys see Blaze Todd fouled Damian Dunn. So he'll be going to the line. And we're already out to an 11-2 lead. Make that 12-2. All right. So. We got 11.26 left to go in the first half. We're up by 10. This this needs to be a game. This needs to be a game. So the Sienna has to do something. And you got to see Doug Givens pushing the transfer. He's going to pass out to Tyson Chambers, who knocks down the three, making it a 16-4 ball game. And you just think about it. Greg Wheeler would technically still be on this team. Uh, I think he would have been a senior. Ben Mason should have been on the team last year, but those dudes all left. They all left us, and you know it hurts me. But you know, at least I still got the guys here. And Joshua Everett, a born leader, a born leader. You know, he didn't put up the greatest numbers as a freshman, but these past two years, he's definitely shown what he can be. So we're up 27 to 16 with 6:20 left to go. They're gonna pass it down on the block, and the Saints do get that bucket to go. I believe that might have been Blaze Todd. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we're going to pass to Doug Gibbons who gets fouled by Justin Rivers. So he'll be going to the line. You guys see on the year he's averaging 21.7.7.5 rebounds. Absolutely amazing. Those numbers remind me of Carmelo Anthony numbers when he was at Syracuse his freshman year. And Doug Gibbons is not a freshman. He is a sophomore just to remind you. But he's still playing like an upper class and our best small forward ever on this team. And he gets that layup to go. Now, I'm sorry, Tim Crawford. You know, you were pretty nice. Malik Nichols, you were also nice. But uh, uh, this guy is a beast. Doug Gibbons is a beast. All right. And we snagged him. And I couldn't believe we did. So, you guys see, we are just scoring at a nice rate right now. 330 left to go. We're on pace to score 40. And, ooh. That was a nice shot. I believe that was Lewis who knocked that one down. He brings it within seven points, but Joshua Everett's going to pass it to uh, Tyson Chambers who catches his man on the pump fake and gets the layup to go. That should have been a foul call, but hey, these refs, they're putting their whistles in their pocket. I don't like that. And Justin Rivers is going to shoot a three, and he knocks it down. So you guys see Sienna, they're doing as much as they can to try to get a victory here today, but Joshua Everett is not having any of it. He misses it, but Damian Dunn is right there. To get the put back to go. So we're up by six. Joshua Everett gets fouled. So he'll be going to the line. LeVar Lewis commits the foul right there. Suns fade looking nasty. But it's whatever. You guys see Joshua Everett putting up great numbers as a junior. 17 points and seven assists. Well, nearly seven assists. I, those numbers really stand out to me. Those are some really nice numbers. Considering that he plays most of the games anyway. Simply because, you know, I don't really like taking him out. Because Tyson Chambers isn't really a point guard. And Jared Griffith isn't really a point guard either. But, you know, we got a bunch of short guards, and that's the problem. All right? So that's one thing we run into. And we I can't really fix that. But you got to see Justin Rivers with a nice putback to make it a 41-37 game. So Sienna has caught up. But Doug Givens, he's going to pull up. No, he passed it to Devin Kennedy. So with four seconds left, Devin Kennedy driving to the hoop. 
gets that layup to go. So we're going into halftime leading 43 to 37. A nice sizable lead, you know, not too much. I mean, this game is definitely, definitely, this, this is still a game. So we still got to play in the second half. Uh, early in this game, we were doing well defensively. Uh, we just, I mean, we still did good defensively, but they started scoring. You know, that's going to happen. It's inevitable. We kept them to 40% shooting, and we're out-rebounding them, which is fantastic, okay? We don't usually do that in the first half, but we are out-rebounding them. So if we keep that up, I believe we can win this game. This is not going to be an easy game. You guys saw last game against Niagara. Damian Dunn saved us, okay? He saved us. But I feel as though we could have lost that game and still made it to the tournament. So uh, I don't really care that much. But you guys see, they knocked down another shot. They're up by one now. They finally have the lead. But Doug Givens says no. No. We're getting a lead back. We were nearly score scoreless for two minutes. So now we got the lead back. Damian Dunn's going to set a pick for Joshua Everidge. Who's going to pass it right back to him. And he knocks down a jumper. To put us up by three. But Sienna did score. So now they're only down by one with 8.20 left to go. Devin Kenny's going to set the pick for Joshua Everett. Who finishes with the left. Like Ginobili. So we're up by three. 7.14 left to go. Nearly get the block right there. But LeVar Lewis just gets enough on the layup to go through the net. So only, only down. We're only up by one. But that boy is good Doug Gibbons is just too nice gets the layup to go you guys see he has the ball and he's gonna drive past his man gets that layup to go so Jared Griffith he is on the court now as we're trying to go a little small so we can get some shots and Damian Dunn dunks it in transition putting us up by five with 556 left to go you guys see the Saints have the ball they're gonna drive to the basket pull up and knock down the jumper. So only up by three. Sienna does have the ball though with five minutes left to go. This is definitely turning into crunch time. And they knock down the three to tie this game up at 59 apiece. So Joshua Evers calling for a pick from Doug Givens. He's going to go around and finishes with the left yet again. Ambidextrous. The dexterity on the court is unbelievable by him. Damian Gunn's going to throw up the floater and he gets it to go so that puts us up by 10 we're on a run and Sienna can't seem to stop it and Joshua Everidge putting on the dribble moves pulls up knocks down the jumper this game is running away from the Saints they gotta do something they gotta do something so they have the ball they're gonna pass it out shoot the three they knock it down and it's only a seven point game and they have the ball LeVar Lewis has the ball in his hands gonna pass it out to Justin Rivers who knocks down a jumper that makes it a five point game and we missed the shot, so they get the ball back. Justin Rivers with the dunk. It's only a three-point game. This game has had a lot of momentum swings. Tyson Chambers pulls up from three from deep, and he knocks it down. We're up by six with 40 seconds left. Tyson Chambers going to pass to Devin Kennedy. Devin Kennedy gets the layup to go, putting us up by eight. So they had to foul us, and Joshua Average. Just putting an exclamation point on this game. Knocks down a free throw. That basically is going to make this game out of reach for the Saints. Knocks down a second one. And this one is pretty much over for the Saints. I mean, they played a hell of a... They played a great game. They played a great game, but it was not enough. Their season will come to an end. And we end up winning this game 78-68. to 68. They tried to come back. They came back twice in this game, but it just wasn't enough to stop us. And that's the momentum we need going into the tournament. Siena is a great team, but we just showed them how much heart we have, how much pride we have. And you guys see Damian Dunn, player of the game, 12 points, 14 rebounds, a monster on the boards today. But you could easily give it to Joshua Everidge as well. I mean, he did shoot a lot of shots, but he kept us in his game. His leadership is what propelled us to victory today. And as you guys look at the stats, you guys can see Devin Kennedy did his job. Every starter did their job. Joshua, um, Jared Griffith, you know, he didn't do much. But our starters, they all did their job. So anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.